Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Now, um, I'm kind of um, on a ghost law in terms of politics. I don't want to uh, talk so much about politics um, these days uh, for the simple reason that um, I think I've been uh, through quite a lot. I mean, that's the truth. I've been quite through a lot and um, it's only uh, reasonable that I, I step back a little bit, you know, um, I reflect uh, take account of um, my life and also promote my my business I want really to promote my business I want to promote you know this business that I've started CTTK I really want to promote it so I am avoiding you know getting so much in the mix of politics but I want to emphasize that I've not stopped politics I have not stopped politics and um, uh, as and when I see it necessary, I will come and um, give my opinion. I hold, I, I reserve that right. This is a democratic state. This is a democratic state. And I have uh, the right uh, to express myself on various issues. So, time and again, I will be coming out and talk about some of these issues. Tonight, I feel... Uh, you know, um, prompted uh, to talk about um, the issue of Vachimbakambwini. I feel that I should talk about the issue of Vachimbakambwini. I am quite disturbed. I'm quite disturbed with the, the news that is flying around on social media. Uh, I am I am very disturbed. I am very disturbed and disappointed. I don't understand why we politicians jump at every opportunity you know to uh, to cast a spasion to make things look so negative i don't know why we are like why we are so malevolent i don't know malevolent i don't know why we are so malevolent and very cynical why don't we want to see something positive and talk about it uh, as positive as it may be as it is why do we always want negative negativity i'm telling you my brothers and sisters this country it doesn't matter which side you belong to you might be on the opposition side you might be on the ruling side as long as we are going to continue uh, being negative wanting to only speak when things are bad or wanting to paint even something that is good wanting to paint it dark we will not develop even these issues that we talk about to say no the economy and what and what we will never be better as long as we keep on being so negative we will never be better we will never be better. we will continue suffering i can assure you that i can assure you that there is that we are not going to benefit out of negativity we are not going to benefit anything out of you know cynicism we are not going to benefit anything look to uh, this minister was having this press conference and I mean he was talking about so many other things and he went by the way a by the way issue touched on Kambuidi issue and this is what is burning in the media this is what is being discussed in the media hey the minister said they had Kambuidi it has become like that it was the issue it has become that like that is that was the issue but surely let me ask you if you have watched the cornelius Mwetwa's press briefing do you think the issue was about kambui 
do you think he came out to discuss Kambuidi that we had Kambuidi, uh, you know, to speak tribal on tribal marks? And frankly speaking, how reasonable are you? How rational are you to believe that political triviality of Cornelius Mwepo? I mean, how can you believe what he said? How can you believe what he said? How can, you know, a media house worth its sort take that as, you know, a take home that they take to their, to their, to their newsroom to go and read, to go and present before the Zambian people to say, the minister said that they had Kambuji. Who could not see that, I mean, this man is just uh, brabbling on politics? Who could not see that this guy is just being trivial? This guy is just pulling the legs of their cousin, the PF. Who could not see? How naive, who, which naive person can believe what Cornelius Mouet was saying? Who, which, which, how naive can you be to believe that? But that is what you are carrying. That is what you are carrying. That is what you are discussing. But you see, that I'm very disappointed. Why I'm disappointed is when Kambuid was evacuated to go to South Africa, there was no news. You, the media, you heard it. It was all over that Bakambuid has been evacuated. It was something positive. It was something that we should have been talking about. We should have spoken about that. We should have commended government for taking Bakambuidi out. For evacuating him out we should have we should have said something about it but you never said anything about it you never carried your news about it. this a, a positive development you didn't do it but on this political triviality you are busy up in arms running around like you know monkeys hey, whoa, 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 whoa. what are you talking about why didn't you talk about the positive thing that government did to evacuate Wakambu? And surely, look at what happened. Look at the, the whole story that is surrounding Wakambu. Look at the story that is surrounding Wakambu. Eh? Look at what happened. I mean, there was betrayal where uh, he was given the, 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 the he was given the the uh, uh, the passport. And he went into 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 Zimbabwe, you know, illegally. He was brought back, and even after being reported, after being brought back, this government, President Haka in the Hichilema, had a heart to say, "Let's take him out. Let's evacuate him." Surely, even if Haka in the Hichilema is bad, why can't you say something positive about that? Eh? But PF, why can't you say something positive about that? Somebody is talking about KBN. Yes, but KBN, why can't you say something positive about that? Eh? I don't want to target any media house, but really, really. I mean, you journalists, you could see what is worth news. What is news to you? What is news? It is something that is in, that is informs that informs that educates. That is what is new. That is what is news. So, what was the information that you are that you are busy carrying about this one? Why didn't you carry the news when Wakambu was evacuated? Why didn't you carry that news? Why didn't you carry that news? Why can't you be updating us to say this is how Wakambu is doing? That is our news with each sword supposed to be operating what can be this in south africa do you even know which hospital has been taken to do you even know which hospital has been taken to? that is that is the information that you're supposed to be giving us not giving us the trivialities of 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 of, of Cornelius i mean clearly the man was was talking it was a joke it was a political i don't know whatever it is that you may call he was teasing the pf you couldn't see that he was teasing by PF. You couldn't see that the man that you thought was helping you actually messed you up. That was the gist of, of what this man said. He was basically telling you that the man that you thought was helping you with your tribal uh, campaign was actually destroying you. And ironically, it confirms what he used to say to say, I'm going to destroy PF. 
you thought Makabwidi had come to PF. But the, the, the campaign that he ran destroyed PF. It destroyed PF. And if you want to continue on that trajectory, because there is this tendency now of trying to, you know, a regroup in, in tribal or try to, you know, entice people as a, as a, as a, as a region. It's not going to help. It's not going to help. So frankly speaking, for me, for me, my brothers and sisters, I want to say that I'm disappointed, especially with some of these media houses that want to be so trivial, that wants to take this country backwards. Instead of discussing something positive, they want the negative. You will not, I can assure you, you will not bring down a government by being so negative. And that is what Cornelius Mweta is trying to tell you. When you become so negative, when you become so negative about the government, everything is negative, everything is negative, you are actually making that government. Haka Inde Ichirema was made and he succeeded to be where he is today because people were so negative, especially on tribal lines. And that, I think, to me, that is what Cornelius Meto was trying to say. But now you put, eh, no, 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 no. For me, what you should be talking about is something positive that come with it. Who was attacking the UPND then? Who was, you know, who even went out of the country illegally, was brought back, but can be considered for evacuation into South Africa. I think that is something that we should be looking at. And me, I'm grateful. And I don't want, you know, I am talking because I don't want government to be swayed by the negativity. Me, I want to commend government. I want to commend government. I want to commend President Haka in the HLM. I'm one of those people that pleaded to say, can we look at Bakambuiri as, as our brother? Let us not be vindictive. So as one person that said something on that, I am praying and uh, appealing to President Haka in the HLM to continue with the same heart that he should look at us as Zambians in spite of the differences that we may have politically in spite of what we could have said like Wakambuiri did he should be able to look at us as Zambians who is supposed to serve as our president and extend the same compassion that he has extended to Wakambuiri Th that is my that is the way that uh, that is my presentation tonight is that please the government look at us as you know zambians as citizens and uh, even when we go wrong don't look at our wrong look at the positive side and on the media i am saying please the media don't just be hell-bent to cover negativity look at something positive Bakambuiri has been taken out. That is something positive. If there is something news that you need to bring out, can you tell us where has Bakambuiri taken? How is he doing? Maybe that's the news that we can appreciate. Not this total nonsense of, hey, hey, he was hired by, by, by UPND. Come on. Are you so dumb that you can't see that this man was just joking? Anyway, let me continue with my, my Coca-Cola. Nifushefia Kulanda. Um, but now How can you be talking? Hey, 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 you should be. Ah, anyway, bye for now. This is DJ exclusive. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.